Yo, what's going on, guys? And like we said in the other video from the other day, Philip Petrosev officially has signed a standard NBA contract. He's a big who can play the center and four position, but so would left a great comment by the name C. David. And yeah, for him to be a combo big center power forward, he's going to have to work on his shooting. He's going to have to become more, at least, you know, close to elite, like a 32, 34% three point shooter on a decent, you know, clip. And he's got to become a bit quicker, especially with his foot speed and lateral quickness, which will probably need him, you know, to be able to put on some strength also without losing any quickness and actually gaining some. And he also left a great comment saying that similar to Jaden Springer, he's probably going to play a lot with the blue coats in Delaware. I I was sitting behind Daryl Morey and after one of the games, he goes, uh, the blue coats are, gonna, are looking good this year. <laughs> and I laughed so hard. But they also signed, surprisingly, Azulas, 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 Azulas Tubilas. Tell me if I said that correctly. I wasn't wild on Tubilas. He's in, you know, the prototypical, you know, European big that aren't like, I'm not talking about the so Sabonis, Jokic, Shagoons. I'm talking like the Zubots. The Valanchunas, the Zizex, okay, those guys, where they are, they like to play, you know, scoring wise, they're back to basket bigs. They're going to be basically scoring everything in the restricted area. And they're going to be making their bread and butter as being brick walls with the screens they set. That's what Tabulis is going to do. He's going to set brick wall screens. He's a big body. He's going to grab offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds, put backs. And he's got a little bit of passing chops to him. Maybe a three-point shot, you know, comes around consistently or something. But, I mean, I will admit, I was not sold on him pre-draft process. And that was just because I didn't know if he was going to be a guy who quick enough or, you know, not saying he's slow, but the Lith he's Lithuanian and he's 21 years old. I just didn't know if he was going to be able to have the foot speed needed to consistently be able to guard people in the NBA. And he, he's a guy that now with the Sixers, I think he's in a good spot. Like, again, he's a guy in college who shot 29% on one and a half threes a game. So he can shoot, okay? But again, he his bread and butter is inside. So maybe he can develop into a poor man's Jonas Valanciunas because he is a guy who dishes out like two assists in college. You know, just under a block game, he got more steals than block calls. But again, he's shown three-point shooting ability and his free throw shot is good. So there's that. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. It's interesting.